Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of how you can make a linked list in Zojo. So what's a linked list? Well, it's a list of things where each item links to the next item. It's a pretty common data structure in computer science. So let's see how you might make it in Zojo. So I'm going to make a class. And linked list consists of nodes. That's each of the items. So I'm going to call it node. And we're going to emulate that Wikipedia uh, implementation. So it had two properties, data, which was uh, just an integer value, and then next, which pointed to the next node. Now in Zojo, you can't actually use next as the name, so we'll call the name next node. Now we can add a method. This is a shared method uh, called add, and this will be used to add a node to the linked list. And what you do is you provide it the actual node uh, that your yours will go after, and then the value that you want in there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paste in the actual code from the Wikipedia page, and we'll just translate it here on the fly to Zojo code. We've already created the method itself. I just called it add, not add node. Uh, so we'll do the other code first. So we'll create the two variables. I could have put these both on one line, but uh, I tend to prefer putting my variables one per line. Rather than a separate create node method, I'll just create it using the, the uh, built-in new command. And I can set the data on this new node to what was passed into the method. And then I can check if um, we want this, if this is essentially the first node or if it's going to go after an existing node. So if it's the first node, we'll just assign uh, it to the one that we created. And then otherwise we can uh, iterate through and find the end of the list and then stick our node there at the end. and then return the new node when we're all done. So that's how that looks like in Zojo code. So now we can uh, just put together a couple demo pieces of code on the window to actually put some data in the linked list and then to show it. So I'm gonna add a couple buttons. I'll call this the add button. And then I'll have a button for showing. I'm going to add a property to the window that'll just keep track of what the first node is so that I can use that for adding and later for showing. Now adding code to the add button. I will add a node. So this is the first node. I'll set its value to 42. And then I'll just add a bunch more nodes. So I'll just put a, uh, a for loop in here. And I'll add each node essentially after itself. And I could have uh, just constantly been passing in uh, the first node essentially each time and it would have looped through and just added it to the end. It's a little faster to pass in the last one we just added. And then now I can write the show method to display the values that are in our linked list. Now I didn't mention it earlier but our implementation did have one uh, small bug in it which we're going to see in a moment when I try to run this. And you'll see how Zojo flags that for you and then the quick change we need to do to fix it. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to uh, start at the first node 
and then loop through each node and display its data value. And by looping through, we just, once we have a node, we display its value and then we get the, uh, the next node by get it using the next node pointer to get the next node that's in the list. And then we keep doing that loop until there are no more nodes in the list. And that's it. So if we run it, we'll see the error. And I'll click on it here and we can see, I mentioned earlier that we can't actually use next as the name of property, but I, uh, I forgot to use the name we actually went with, which was next node. So I can uh, fix those uh, mistakes here and then we can run it again. And now that added some things, and we can see here 42 is the first one, and then it'll have numbers 1 through 10, one after each other in the linked list. And that's it. You can jump on over to Wikipedia to see how to add an insert method and learn more about linked lists.